Hey y'all, Jenna of Jenna Mason Media here. I literally just recorded a video, but God told me that I wasn't done and that I needed to come back with another message. And that message is this, your healing is customized, has already been customized just for you. For so many of us, we are tired of hurting. We live somewhere between being okay one day, depressed and anxious the next. We may have rejection wounds and we're just in pain overall. And we're wondering, when will we finally feel better? When will you feel like yourself again? Can you ever feel better? And the answer is absolutely you can with Jesus. Healing is not a one size fits all approach. I know that there are some things that people throw out there as if you do this, this will get better. And sometimes those things are true, but healing is such a personal experience because only you and God know what you've been through and God knows exactly how to touch the places that hurt. This is why I'm such a proponent of Jesus and therapy, therapy and Jesus, because Getting professional help is great. I always encourage it. I worked in the social work field for a very long time and I think that therapy is very underrated. But the thing is, when you go into therapy without discernment, you may come out with some solutions that are not right for you. And I say this with all the humility, um, but a lot of professionals give advice that goes like this. If you, you know, for example, have experienced a breakup, oh, you just need to get back out there again. And no. Um, if we're honest, and I say this with all the love in my heart, life has put miles, so many miles on our hearts, our emotions, our minds. And when that's the case, the way that we heal is to step back, to not be out there anymore, uh, to have a season of stillness and quiet. And that's the way we'll be restored. Now, on the other hand, if you're someone who due to pain, due to trauma, you've just kind of isolated and have cut the world and everybody off. Yeah, that may be great advice to get back out there again, but only God can tell us what's right for us. We see this in the Bible. In 2 Kings, Naaman had leprosy. And the way that he was healed was he dipped in the Jordan River seven times. Those were the instructions given to him. And that wasn't really what he wanted to do. He thought his healing should look different. And he was like, okay, first of all, the Jordan River is dirty. Uh, is there some um, other, excuse me, bo uh, body of water that I can dip in? And also, can somebody just come out here and wave their hand and I be healed? But no, that's not what happened. And after he followed the instructions, he was healed. But then we see in uh, Luke in the Bible that there were 10 lepers who cried out to Jesus, help me, see me. And Jesus's response was, go to the priests and show yourself. And as they did that on the way to the priest, they were healed. They didn't have to dip in any body of water. They didn't have to go do anything per se. So I think those are great examples of how healing looks different for different people. Again, God sees you. He loves you. He knows where you are and he already has a plan in place to heal you. You get access to it through Jesus by accepting him, excuse me, as your Lord and Savior, because then you get access to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. And that's where we get our direction from. That's where we it's like a GPS. Uh, we have discernment. We have direction. We'll know, OK, go here. Don't go here. Go there. Don't go there. Participate in this. Don't participate in that. And so with that leading and guiding us, that will provide the instruction for your healing. Again, healing is customized just for you. Jesus already has it for you. You can and will heal.